Well, hello again, everyone out there in YouTube land. This is Saida, the domestic and maiden of distinction, coming back again, as always, to you live and direct. I pray and hope that all is well with you. Hope that you are walking in the will and the way of the Lord, being obedient unto Him, and enjoying your life. You know, no matter what is going on, really enjoying uh, your life. And when I'm talking about enjoying, I'm not talking about going on vacations and sitting under the uh, umbrellas uh, on the beach, um, drinking Mai Tais or something like that. But I just mean the peace of God. I pray that the peace of that you are walking in, in his anointing and under the, the peace of God. That's what's important. That is how we enjoy our life. And if we have families and friends and things like that, that we are in harmony with them, you know, not a, a relationship that's full of friction and things like that. But number one, that we are in harmony uh, and in relationship with the Lord God Almighty, first and foremost. That way, other relationships kind of fall in place. And then the ones that don't fall in place probably need to fall out of place, you know, because it's not a, it's not for us to be in relationship with everybody. Do you understand what I mean? Even if they're family blood or whatever. I know people have this blood is thicker than water uh, saying or whatever. I don't. That's not my philosophy. If blood is a, 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 a thorn in my side or, or brings friction to me or my family, then blood has to dry up and go away or whatever so today we are talking about what oral health there's nothing like good oral health you know because to you know it's very offensive when someone has a bad breath and I'm, when i'm saying offensive i don't mean that they're doing it on purpose or anything like that and you know some people they don't know that they might have a breath odor or something like that and but it is offensive when we smell it if it's really a reeking bad breath so we're going to be talking about some different oral health tips today and i hope that you have been enjoying this um little series as well and don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed. Subscribe to this channel and uh, give us a thumbs up. Please, 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 please give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that notification bell uh, when you uh, uh, subscribe so that you are notified when we have new videos upcoming, uploaded. So, yeah, so let me just get started really, really quickly. I'm just going to share a very few things that I have that I, that we use in our family. So, first and foremost would be toothbrushes. So, these are the toothbrushes that we use. It's, and I'm not sponsored by anybody, and I'm not um, encouraging you to use this particular brand but there are other brands and types that you might want to use but this one is uh, pure well uh, living I love this thing this is better than going to any dental hygienist okay I've not felt this good in my mouth you know it's, you know I, it's just wonderful it's really really good but it I've had it over a year now just just over a year, I think, if I'm not mistaken. So I don't know. So it's a pure sonic hydro clean toothbrush. So it doesn't oscillate, but it vibrates. And it vibrates at 25, let me put my glasses on, for, no, 40,000 uh, vibrates per minute or something like that, or a second or whatever. So it is a DuPont brush. Let me see. So it's a DuPont brush. It has five brushing modes. It has smart memory, 90-day battery duration, auto timer, and a quad pacer. So it's kind of, you know, let you know how long you should go, blah, blah, blah. And intermittent, let you know when it's going to cut off, da, 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 da. And it's waterproof and it's ultra quiet. And I have it in the pink, of course. All of my, no, uh, most of my, um, Personal items are going to be pink and some are going to be green. So, but I love this. Like I said, it, it does have, it has polished white, gum care, sensitive, and clean. So those are the five modes that this one has. It comes with two different uh, toothbrush heads, a cover. It comes with the, uh, the, ch ch the charger as well. I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but let me see if I can put this on. 
You probably can't see this thing. Let me put my. You, can you see? You see that? How that's. Let me turn it off so you can see. Uh oh. I'm, turn, I'm turning it up. <laughs> okay, so it stopped vibrating. Now look at the vibration. You see that? This is thing is cleaning your mouth like nothing else has ever cleaned your mouth. And you're probably using one of these or something like that. And you hear it? Can you hear it? It's pretty quiet. Not too much of it. But that's the, uh, the polish uh, setting. But I love this thing. I do, 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 love it. And then, basically, we just use um, regular toothbrushes as well with the... Uh, uh, I have a hard and we have a soft, you know, because it depends. Some nights or days, because uh, mostly it, like night is when I might use the soft or whatever. But some nights and days, like I said, you want to alternate. So I have a soft and a hard. Like if I want to, sometimes I might not use this, uh, the electrical. I might just go ahead and use a manual toothbrush. But they also have this one. This one came from uh, all these and it's called Dental Guard. These are the ones we also bought for the children as well. I don't know if they have replaceable heads for these, but it is really good too. This one oscillates and, ooh, it's pretty good too. <laughs> it oscillates and it vibrates, which I thought was really, let me see if you can you hear that? That is powerful. You see it moving? Let me stop it. Okay. So, yeah, this is really good. And they really have been enjoying it. These are, like I said, some of the other ones. But these, they have really been enjoying these. And so, some of the toothpastes, and plus, we use cases. I notice, and please don't be offended. I notice a lot of people, they don't use cases on their toothbrushes. Um,. And I think if you have a toothbrush that's uncovered in the bathroom, especially, you know, in the bathroom is where if you flush the toilet and like another thing is to keep your, when you flush the toilet, your toilet seat, your toilet lid should be down because when you are flushing your toilet, biohazards are floating, coming out and floating in the air and our toothbrushes are not uh, immune if they're not covered, so you should cover your toothbrush. These toothbrush cases don't cost a, a, anything, and I've had this type for years. Uh, for years, you can find them in different stores, but just get one that you that is going to hold. Because I saw some, I think, because I, I was looking all over for them, and uh, new said because what I we do is been washing these out and boiling them. Uh, or whatever but I said let me get some new ones also but I couldn't find any for a long time or the ones I found they were so flimsy they were opening and stuff and nobody has time for that you know they're good for travel I know some people use the encased ones or whatever but they're also good for traveling and things like that but it's good for you to have these at home um, we were visiting uh, uh, some some uh, relatives or whatever we were standing over their house and I noticed they had their toothbrush case they didn't have a toothbrush case and I was thinking well you, well, you know why don't you have a toothbrush case on your uh, toothbrush you you know you don't know what could happen you have guests because they only had one rest one bathroom that we were all using so I said you don't know if somebody could do something to your toothbrush or what because they were like it's just us here it's not just but I told them it's not just you here now we're here with you <laughs> But anyway, that's just a little Titus 2 tip. If you are not covering your toothbrush, you should cover your toothbrush, even if you covered it with foil or plastic or something. And put your toilet lid down when you flush, because biohazards, even if it's urine, biohazards, biohazards are coming out and floating out. Germs are floating out, so... Be sure to, to do that. Then we use these, another cost effective. How many are here? 60 of these. These normally are double, uh, double, what's the magic? Double floss or whatever. A lot of people don't, 
they might use regular uh, original floss, but we like to use these around here. We buy the different, different kinds. So this is good for flossing. Uh, as far as toothpaste is concerned, uh, I've been using this. I had got off of it for a while. This because this is peroxide and it has a, a variety of. Um, let me see if they show you. It's peppermint flavored, but it has aloe in it, spearmint. I think these are cloves, lemons. Uh, this looks like it might be a uh, rosemary, cinnamon, and this might be. Would this be eucalyptus? Let me see. Yeah, okay, here we go. Very good. Aloe vera, coconut oil, peppermint oil, spearmint oil, stevia, which I know a lot of people do not like, but I don't taste it. Well, I wouldn't know if anyway. So anyway, lemon oil, rosemary oil, clove oil, cinnamon oil, and winter green oil, eucalyptus oil, frankincense oil, and again, this has coconut flour in it. So these, this is really good. I like this, especially for, you know, I feel like, uh, what do you call it? Uh, what do you call this stuff? Uh, peroxide. Ox hydrogen peroxide really does clean your mouth. You know, sometimes your dentist even will suggest that you use that. If you have like a really buildup of tartar or whatever, but it's really, really good for cleansing and breath. But I don't think that you want, I don't, wouldn't use it like long term, but maybe a couple of times a week just for that extra cleansing. Uh, and I've been using this lately, this anti-plaque toothpaste. This is the fennel, propolis, and mirror. Now, this is no fluoride. This is from Trader Joe's. I'm not sponsored by anybody. This is something I'm using just right now or whatever. And another, but, uh, but I noticed, there, and the reason why I'm not using this long term anymore, and I'm just using it intermittently, like a couple of times a week, is because my teeth are sensitive. And I believe that this has made, because a lot of us, even if you are a natural person, you use baking soda and peroxide, you notice that it makes your teeth sensitive right so the 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 um the solution oh and this is another thing this is the 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 liquid form of it or you can call it the mouthwash of it or you can just use it as a as a, a toothbrush type of situation too but it's the again uh, hydrogen peroxide with the same ingredients in here and it's a this is in the rinse so you can brush your teeth with it or just rinse your mouth with this but if your teeth are sensitive you have run into a sensitivity issue and you have stopped using fluoride because some people have just stopped using fluoride because they say one thing or another which I fell into that bandwagon again uh, I mean not again but myself which I'm uh, I'm not falling into more, any more bandwagons I'm just <laughs> tired of everybody saying this is not good for you, this is not good for you God said everything he made was good So, but we have to be wise about what we use and how we use things of course so what I did, my dentist gave me some Prevident 5000 this is um, a fluoride toothpaste that you use, and this re relieves all sensitivity. It will bring back and remineralize your teeth. So this is something you can just ask your dentist for, and it only cost me about... It was under fifteen dollars. It's a prescription. It only costs about fifteen dollars, or under fifteen dollars, if I'm not mistaken, at Walmart. I had it um, filled at Walmart because Walgreens wanted thirty dollars for it. I'm like, get out of here! And I think I've even seen it online cheaper. I think you can buy it online uh, without a prescription, but don't uh, quote me on it. But it's a Colgate. But it was. It really helped a lot. Another thing that's good. If you like natural stuff or whatever, this is so, so good. This is Tingly Mint Crazy. I like the the sound, the uh, name of it. But this is Tingly Mint. I hope it's, uh, uh, what do you call it? I hope it's, it might not be. But anyway, it's called Tingly Mint. And if you can see, it's by Plant Therapy. This is really 
really, really, really good. This is a Synergy blend. blend. I'm not sponsored by anybody. These are just things that I use. But this is so good. Okay, so anyway, you can, this is an essential oil. It says Zing. Uh, use in any body care product, including shampoo, conditioner, shower gel, body cream, lotion, a car uh, carrier oil, or a foot cream. Tingly Mint will become your pedicure cream. Uh, excuse me, pedicure dream for topical use dilutes. Uh, blah, 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 blah. But anyway, I like to use this as a mouth. Uh, you can you put this, make up your own little toothpaste, like with baking soda. This tastes so good, and it tastes like, it smells like a gum. It tastes good, and it smells like a a gum, but I can't place the gum. But if you ever buy it, you would you would tell me what you think about it. But it is really really nice. You can mix it and as a paste with um, baking powder, or you can put it in a little peroxide or just water to rinse or brush with your mouth. This is really really good as a person who wants to substitute their um, their toothpaste this is really really nice it's very refreshing and tingly and minty i love this and the, yeah, the smell of it is so so good now if you've had any tooth issues uh like i have a tooth that's uh, been missing for a while it's in the back uh but i'm gonna get it replaced at some point but it's just it's a small gap uh, at this point because it's been so long since it's been like that but what I do to get between those teeth because I can't it, it, you know even brushing it's not going to get between it so what I use are these mascara brush now these my this one of my best kept secrets because I've not shared this with anybody but this is one of my best kept secrets right here this um mascara brush to get between your teeth is so awesome just like a tiny toothbrush because I was like what could I use and that is what came to my mind I just ordered these online in different places if you have any questions about where I ordered these from please leave it in the comment section and I will get to it and almost finally what I well I should say finally <laughs> What I use, well, not all the time, but what you could use if you are a chapstick lover, gingerbread kiss. Ha <laughs> ha! I wonder, can you see that? Look at the little gingerbread on here. I know I only, I'm use, I'm only uh, promoting this one because I know somebody who loves gingerbread and the color brown. <laughs> but this is nice, though. A nice little... I don't know if you, oh, it smells so good. I don't, it's like cinnamon or gingerbread or whatever. I don't know if you can uh, really see it, but I don't, or if they ain't even making this anymore. I've had this for a little while. I don't use chapsticks. I don't use anything on my lips unless I've been dehydrated or whatever, but normally my lips are pretty moist or to the level they need to be. But anyway, Bible Scraps, shout out to you. I know you would like this. <laughs> I wish this was fresh and new, of a new pack, or I knew where to get it because I would surely send you one. But anyway, this is just some little chapstick. There's something to keep your keep your lips good, you know, keep your lips moist and stuff like that. I don't like glosses. I don't think, uh, I don't like glosses. Let me just say that because if I go any further, I'm going to offend somebody. But I don't really like glosses. But if I had to, I would use a chapstick because I feel like a chapstick is beneficial to your lips. It adds moisture, a gloss just only glosses over your lips and have you looking shiny so yeah those are different things that we use in our home for oral health oh and another thing right people make uh, we used to also make up our own toothbrush toothpastes from this bentonite clay however it has started giving us a headache because it's detoxing and it's pulling things out of me so much so we're not using this anymore for for that reason although i can now because it, i'm over the headache situation uh, but it's when you heavily tox, when you get them tox, those heavy toxins in your body, and and um, fillings, uh, metal fillings or mercury fillings or whatever. So it was uh, a couple of years ago a problem for me, but it's not anymore. So yeah, that's all I wanted to show us as far as uh, our oral health is concerned. I hope you like this video. Hope you learned something. I hope something you can take something away that is beneficial to you or your family and whatnot. I hope this series have been helpful to you. I think we'll be coming back with one or two more. Uh, but I sure hope that you know. 
you have learned uh, something or that you, you know, benefited some way or somehow. Some things you already know. Let me know the things that you have been doing yourself. I'm not an authority on anything, you know what I mean, like that. So, uh, but let me know if there's anything that you have been using in your life and, and in your family that has been beneficial to you. Share with us as well because it's all about sharing and helping one another, you know, to, to, to you know, to improve ourselves. It's not, you know, there's nothing... I know uh, some people, they, you know, just where they are, you know, some people that I've known for a long, long time, longer than I know my children. And these people have never moved their life forward. And that's such a sad, sad situation. When you never try to develop yourself, you don't go back to school, you don't take any kind of classes to for self-development, you're just the same way. Oh, if you don't like me, then, you know, having a bad, stinking, smelly attitude and stuff like that, smelly like a bad breath or something, forgive me. But seriously, on a serious note, but you know, people, you know, you should be developing, learning all the time. You know, it, you know, and some things, some things people present to you, you can't use, but there are some things you can use, huh? You can use, you know, I'm not a person that knows it all. So if people bring something to my attention, or if I see something new, I'm, I'm looking at it and say, hmm, is it okay? You know, if it's, you know, it's not something that's against God, it's not something that's evil, and it's something that could be beneficial to our family or to us, then I might jump on it, if, or even if it's just for a little season that I might utilize it or whatever, but, you know, anyway. I'm not going to go there. Anyway, so we'll be probably coming back with one or two more. We just, again, I pray that you would give us a thumbs up. I pray that something was said that would benefit you and whatnot. It's nothing like good oral health. I mean, it's good for your health, good for your heart. And, again, it's, it's not offensive to people because a lot of people who have breath issues, they don't know it. They'll be in your face or not even close to you because it's, but because the breath is so overpowering. It's, it's just, it's, you know, you can be a couple of feet or two from them and you can still smell it. So you have to be careful. And be visiting your dentist. Visit your dentist twice a year or as often as they allow it. You know, your insurance or your pockets allow it. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Love you very much. This is Saida, the Domestic Handmaid in No Distinction. Signing out for now. Love you. Bye-bye.